What's up, everyone? It's White Gamer. Today we have the best left mid slash right mid build in EAFC 24 club. So for your position, you're either gonna go with left mid or right mid. All up to you. Your height. We're going with six foot. You do want to have some height as a left mid or right mid, guys. Especially if you're gonna be coming up against fullbacks that are tall or even defenders. And it's good to have some height so your keeper can find you on the long kicks. Then weight, we're going with 152 pound. You do want to have some strength as well as a left mid, guys. You don't want to be too weak either as a left mid. So 152 pounds is just right. The running style I recommend for left mid slash right mid, guys, is the captain. Remember, guys, running style is just personal preferences. It's all up to you. <clears throat> you don't have to use this one, but I think the captain is a really good one for a left mid slash right mid. Now we have the play style, everyone. I know not everyone is max rated, so I'm going to go in order and how you should have it and what you should focus on. So the first one you definitely should have is the quick step, guys. This will allow you to accelerate just quicker, lasts about four seconds, and is very noticeable. The next one I recommend is Relentless, guys. You're going to be running a lot as left mid slash right mid, so you definitely want to have this. This is going to help your player's stamina bar go down slower, and during halftime, your stamina is going to recover, which is really, really good. The next one I definitely recommend is the rapid, the regular one. We're going to begin the plus version of it because we're already max level. Um, then the technical dribbler, guys, definitely recommend it, guys. The RB, R1 dribbling is very, very, very good this year. It'll allow you to, to like jockey sprint kind of and it makes it very difficult for opponents to defend that. The next one we're going with is the first touch, guys. Since you're playing out wide, you do want to be taking good first touch so you can just beat your opponent. On that you know the wing next is the long ball pass guys i definitely recommend this because you're going to be you know sometimes your teammates nearby might not be open so you can switch the ball to the opposite side of the field or pass it back so pretty much any lob or lofted balls are going to come out very precise you can even assist with this play style as well and then the guys for your last one it all depends how you play left mid slash right mid for your last one. You can go with the whip pass. This one's really good for crossing it into your strikers or your teammates inside the box. It gives it a lot of accuracy and curve. You can also use the incisive pass, which is really good for through balls. We're going to go with the whip pass. But like I said, guys, the last one, all up to you and how you play left mid slash right mid. We're going with whip pass because the crossing is very uh, meta right now. And then for your play style plus, guys, the first one I recommend is the finesse shot plus, guys. You're going to be outside the box most of the time. And this play style is completely broken. It's very, very good. If you shoot this from outside the box, it's most likely going to go in. It just has really, really good accuracy and power and curve to it. So I definitely recommend this one. And then for your second play style plus, I recommend the rapid, guys. Since you're going to be playing out wide, you want your pro to be taking good first touches as you're running with the ball so this will help out with that your pro won't be taking too much of a heavy touches as you're running down and it's very noticeable this rapid plus but yeah boys and girls these are the play style plus that we went and then these are the regular play styles that we went now we have the skill tree everyone this works well for old gen and new gen again i know not everyone is max rated so if you're low rated i recommend you guys to focus on some pace at first and then some shooting you're gonna want to have some shot power and then as you level up, guys, max out your pace completely as you're leveling up. So you're going to have your pace maxed out eventually. You're going to have 90 acceleration, 96 sprint speed, which is really good for a left mid slash right mid. Then the shooting, as you keep leveling it up, you do want to get that five-star weak foot eventually. Get some finishing. Get the finisher archetype. And then you're going to get the sniper archetype to boost that shot power, guys. Shot power is very, very important this year as pretty much as any attacking position so definitely boost that. This will give you 91 finishing, 87 free kicks. If, you're that, if you take free kicks, this is going to be really good for that. 92 shot power, 82 long shots, 81 volleys, 81 penalties, and then 5-star weak player. You're going to be able to shoot with both of your foot. You got that finesse shot plus play style, which is going to make it very, very difficult for goalkeepers to save it. So you can shoot from outside the box or inside the box with this build. Now for passing, guys. We're just going to do long passing. That's it. You're going to have one skill point left after everything. So we just went with the long passing. Guys, this is more than enough. You have a couple play styles that are going to help out with the long pass and the short pass. So just went with this. There's way better stats to focus on. Then for dribbling, everyone, you're going to get the Maestro archetype. You're going to get the dribbling, the agility, all that filled out from this right side. You get the links archetype. You're going to get the ball control, more ball control, and then balance. Make sure it says two out of two. This is going to give you 91 agility, which is good for a tall player. 94 balance is going to make it difficult for opponents to get you off that ball as well with that weight that you have 94 ball control 
93 dribbling with the four star skill moves. I think the four star skill moves is more than enough. Don't waste your five skill points on this. And then for the physical, everyone, we're going to focus on the reactions and strength. You do want to have some strength as a left mid or right mid to make it difficult for opponents to knock you off the ball. And it'll make it easier for you to knock off opponents. And then this will also give you 83 stamina, which the stamina is important. Remember, you have the relentless play style, which will help the stamina go down a little bit slower. And then the reactions, guys. The reactions are important. You should allow your pro to react quicker to the ball. As soon as you're about to receive it, your pro will react much quicker, which that's what you want. Now we back out, everyone. You're going to be an 87 left mid or right mid with 79 physical, 93 pace, 86 shooting, 80 passing, and 93 defending. You have four stats that are 80 and above. You almost have five of your five out of six stats are almost 80 and above. You have physical at 79. But boys and girls, try out this build. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys next time.